All right, guys, it is Thursday morning. I am headed out to King of the Hammers. It's gonna be a wild one, it always is. I am not gonna pretend that I am a total expert at King of the Hammers. I've been a handful of times. I think the last time was uh, maybe two years ago, two, three years ago before COVID. So I have packed up the Jeep and I am heading, at, heading out. I uh, am probably about an hour and a half away. I'm somewhere uh, on the 15, heading, uh, heading over to Johnson Valley. So we are uh, scheduled to meet up with some friends, some folks. We're obviously gonna see some really amazing rigs out there. And uh, I'm gonna spend two nights and uh, head, back, uh, head back on uh, Saturday morning. So like I said, I've got the Jeep all packed up, We're running the Camp King today. Um, you know, usually my go-to rig um, when I go out is, is, you know, with my family is the Land Cruiser. Uh, and that's, I mean, we've had that for, it's an 09, it's got 200,000 miles on it now. It's kind of, we've got our, we've got our ways set up in that, in that truck. Honestly, the Jeep uh, is a newer truck for us. Um, and I, I just don't take it out quite as much. So this is, uh, is going to be really nice um, to take it out. We've got it loaded up. We've got the uh, Cam King unit on here. We've got a couple of new things kind of in the Jeep, in the works. So this is uh, going to be it's gonna be a quick trip, but it's going to be super fun. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what the, the, what the couple days bring us. So off we go. guys had to stop real quick eat I realized I need to get out some emails that were outstanding um, and a couple other things so here I am it's gonna be uh, a little bit of work in here before I hit the road again Back up, hit the road. All right, we're uh, coming up here on King of the Hammers here. You can see out front, that is the main part of the valley. Uh, you see the helicopters, you can see the trucks all trying to come in. Uh, oh yeah, down that way I can see Hammer Town. So uh, we're gonna pull off here, turn off here and uh and make our way in so this is uh, a bit of a traffic jam here you can see out in front of us just the sheer size of how many rvs and people come out here hammertown's nuts um it basically they take the the lake bottom and they turn it into a town full with street names and everything I don't know how many people officially visit King of the Hammers on any given year, um, but just by the sheer number of RVs that I see just coming up on the entrance here, it's quite astounding how many. So um, it's been kind of fun to see a lot of vehicles so far, a lot of Jeeps. Uh, I saw a Tacoma with a James Brood on it that I'm pretty sure we installed a couple years ago. A customer of ours up the, down here in San Diego. Saw the Stretch Limo 80 Series Land Cruiser Limo. I don't know how many doors, maybe six doors long. Um, so, uh, and then your assortment of buggies. Pretty, pretty insane. Uh, pretty awesome. All right, made my way in here. And I am uh, probably headed towards Hammer Town. Uh, keep my eyes out for uh, some folks here. We're gonna do a little exploring, get out of uh, maybe a little bit out of this busy section here, and see what I can find. 
All right, we're here and we are not the only ones. Um, there is just all sorts of people, trucks. We got our Jeep out here. We park right next to it. it's semi-twin. Twins running an alley cab. We've got the can can. You can see a little bit of the difference. It's fun to see. So I'm out here, just want to show you guys just the scale at which how large this valley is. At night here, what I'm pointing at, those ridge tops will be full of UTVs, ATVs, buggies, Jeeps, <laughs> you name it. And then right here, what we're looking at is Hammertown. All that right in front of us is everybody in RVs camping. I've just driven out here into a random spot. I got myself a quick, quick drink and we're gonna keep kind of exploring around. Right, guys so I've just set up here for a little bit enjoy the sunset um, I'm gonna go jump back in the Jeep here momentarily and find some of the other folks but um, there's a an interesting feeling here um, it, being in the middle of nowhere but yet knowing there are just a ton of people out here during King of the Hammers it is a beautiful setting here in the valley. We've got the mountains behind us, wide open desert. Um, there's this feeling of quietness, or almost like a calm before the storm. <laughs> anyway, I think that's uh, just kicking the hammers. So I'm, uh, I'm about to jump into bed here, uh, sitting in the back of the truck. What an awesome day, Ooh, rolling around, seeing some incredible trucks. Um, we haven't even gotten to the racing yet, but just some of these just wide range of different vehicles. Ran into Micah, uh, Overland Budget, super rad to, to run into him. Got to spend some time with camp at camp with him. Met Harrison, uh, he's got insane Porsche Cayenne that maybe we can sit down and talk to him about. Uh, Ryan with the Sequoia, he's running the 23-0 tent. Super rad to hang out with him as well. Um, and then Carter from Nomad Rims um, was out here as well. Um, and then I uh, ended the night here hanging out with Kingston from Roaming Lost around the fire here. Just chit-chatting. Um, we built out his Ram 3500 a couple months ago. Maybe it was six months, a year ago. I can't even remember full red arc system, rewired his entire inside scout uh, camper. And um, really pumped to hear that him and his wife have been out enjoying that problem free since, uh, which is music to our ears. Uh, so I know it was just fun catching up with him. Got a huge day tomorrow. We're gonna see a lot of cool stuff. We got a lot of trucks, we got a lot of roaming around to do. So I'm gonna hit the hay here. It's uh, feeling kind of good, nice and sheltered here inside the truck and uh ready to hit some uh hit the hay and get some z's so uh yeah excited uh for tomorrow all right so mike and i decided to get to the top of this hill from early morning viewing um you can see him and his awesome tacoma heading his way up 
Um, I'm gonna wait here at the bottom uh, until he gets up, but we're just gonna kind of slowly make it up here. It should be an awesome viewpoint um, from from way up here. So here we go. This is part of the fun. I love it. All right, so we made it to the top here. We are looking over Hammertown off into the distance. I think back door is in front of us. Chocolate Thunder over to the left. Mike and I crawled up here. Him and his awesome built Tacoma. I'm sure most of you guys have seen his setup on YouTube or elsewhere. Um, super fun to run in with him, hang out. Micah, how goes it? Good. Have some coffee, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little chilly night last night, but not too bad. Not too bad. I had the heater going. Yes, you got to respect that like diesel heater. In there. <laughs> Sixty in there. The rest of us regular folks had to uh, had to bear the cold. Actually, not too bad though. Not too bad. So yeah, we're gonna hang out here, do our morning routines, and then see what the uh, see what the day brings. Micah has gone ahead and treated me with like a full-blown breakfast. Totally unexpected, totally cool, way rad on the back <laughs> of a Tacoma. Full pancakes, sausage. Look at this guy, this guy's an animal. Unbelievable. Or this, an by animal, the way. You gotta eat like an animal. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Full inside of his truck here. This dude was toasty warm with his diesel heater. Last night looks comfy, man. This Tacoma is so rad. Makes me wish I had our uh, 96 back. Ah. My wife and I had an old 96, a little red one. We called it the caboose. Nice. <laughs> it was sick. This is a bad. little bit better outfitted than that one, but same good memory. So here we go, man. It's time to chow down. Sounds like the race is starting, yeah? Yeah. Something. You can see him. Yeah. Um, so we may get a good view from up here for a bit. But soon enough, down below here, it's going to be. A lot of dirt and a lot of dust. Heck yeah. I'm just walking up into the Optima charging station here. All the guys are out. I think uh, folks are running around in some of the Can-Ams, but uh, 
the Optima battery guys have set up a mobile charging station. And sure enough, these two familiar cars are here. The contrast is hilarious between the Ultra 4 trophy truck races, etc. And then the uh, Optima R1T and R1S build here. Super rad, sporting the eye camper. And then the R1S looking real sharp. So super fun, super rad. Got the charging station. These guys are getting all charged up and uh, ready to rock and roll again. Oh, there we go. Looking sharp. All right, guys, we've been romping around in the Jeep all day. Jeep's done really awesome. Um, what I'm actually really curious about right now is you can see the back of the truck's pretty darn dusty. We've got a good amount of of dust out, out on the truck. What I want to show you guys is the dust or the lack of on the inside of the truck. So all this has stayed really clean. The dust, there really isn't any. Um, and it's windy right now. And boy, oh boy, I, I'm glad to be kind of away from <laughs> Hammertown where it's just nuts windy. But anyways, uh, big piece that helps is this flap, rock guard. And then uh, obviously we seal it up with some close foam tape, etc. So it works out really well. Um, I was curious, you know, this weekend, how is that going to hold up? Uh, we've had a, a couple Death Valley trips, uh, a couple other trips, and it's been the same, so it's holding up great. All right, guys, I'm set up here. I am going to deploy the awning uh, to show you guys kind of how that works uh, with the Camp King Outback Series setup. Uh, I'm going to close those windows first, obviously. Just uh, so they don't get in the way. I'm gonna undo this bag. Um, you know, a little tap because it is really dusty out here. Pull this cover over. Now uh, we've got a couple of straps here that help keep the fabric up. Strap. I'll lock it out. Now it's a little bit windy today, um, but with how solid this awning is, that's just not going to be a problem. So real nice, gets us a little bit of shade, um, and a real quick setup. So for something like this where I'm going to stop, grab myself a bite to eat, grab a drink, take a break, get out of the dust clouds, dust clouds, <laughs> not in the clouds, um, this is great. So easy setup, real nice. So. The Camp King Protector Series awning, they all come pre-fitted with zippers on the one, two, three, four sides. So there is a full walling, excuse me, a wall kit that is available. Um, they obviously match up to these zippers here. What's nice about the wall kit, there are two solid walls and then there are two walls with windows, not doors, but windows. Um, and you can choose kind of how you want to put it together in terms of your the protection from the elements that you're looking for a lot of times you kind of just want to get out of the wind um, so for instance right now this wind is coming at me in this direction so i'm going to see if i can put up some walls here to kind of maybe not totally enclose the space but to get some blockage from the wind maybe from just like i have the passenger side of the camp king door closed that's just kind of to prevent all this wind to be you know from flowing through so um i'm gonna grab the uh grab the bag out of the top of the truck so the awning comes in this real nice bag weatherproof waterproof bag from King. the bag's got plenty of room for four walls um which is nice i elected to have the uh the bag up top on the on the, right, on, the, on the front of the rack on top of the Jeep. 
uh, just because it's in this nice bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Take a look at the different walls. You'll see the walls are made of the uh, same cool bra fabric as the rest of the tent. Um, and one end has the zippers and then the bottom end, I believe, or the sides, check that out to have um, the D-rings for tie down points. All right, so I've gone ahead and grabbed my steak bag. By the way, if you're looking for some of the best steaks ever, Snow Peak makes these ridiculous railroad spike steaks. You can either use something like that or these old school rhino rack corkscrew style steaks in the sand. So a little tricky to do by yourself in the wind, but I'm gonna give it a go. Got the one wall up. I close that other side. So this gives us a little shelter here from the prevailing winds, which is nice, right? You don't need to put all the walls up every single time, but this at least gets you a lot of nice shelter. This one has the door built in, so. Sorry, not door, window. Um, so you can open it, uh, but there is a screen to it as well. Uh, so you don't necessarily go through it. So now we've got two walls zippered up, making for a real nice kind of inside shelter here. So what I've done here is I've set up three of the four walls so that I still have a view out. It's not inclement weather, it's not raining. Um, it's just a little windy. And so what this does is it gives me some really good shelter behind the truck if I decide I you know, need to make a meal or do whatever, close up, I've got this confined kind of area behind here, which just gives me some protection. Obviously, there's a fourth wall that can fill in the space right in front of me. Um, you can see here, um, you know, these can go down uh, if you want, you know, the window to be open, so to speak can do that uh, partially or all the way down, however you kind of want it to go. With kind of the wind is, the way the wind is today, I'm going to leave this up and put a lot of dust around. It's kind of nice having the walls. I'll give you a quick look how it uh, how it looks from the outside. It's a big area. closed area give you that kind of protection from the wind. And that's the side here that is taking the brunt of the force. You can feel it there or see it rather. Um, and I've got this side of the truck closed as well. All that wind is going straight to the passenger side of the truck. Um, you know, I've got the tent window open, but that's high enough where it's not kicking up a whole lot of dust. So, works real nice. Here, get away from that wind, which is great.
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and meet up with some of the other folks. late at night and I am headed back home. King of Hammers is one wild event. I'm not sure how else to describe it. I'm not even sure you can describe it. It is one of those things that is hard to comprehend what in the world is going on. It is a lot. I'm excited to get home, see the kids, see my wife. It's fun meeting a lot of new people, seeing a lot of awesome rigs, and uh, just being out here with the Jeep. So I'm going to head home. I'll catch you guys. Cheers. <laughs>